you're telling me, girlfriend. You're telling me. Come on, get under the cavinis. Okay, well. Well, <laughs> I feel like we did something bad. So, but why does it feel so good? Well, I was thinking more like Jojo Siwa bad. What did we do? Well, nothing. I, we just are recording the day we post. It's just like, oh, it's I just, know. it's just crazy and it's weird. It's really scandalous. It's so scandalous of us. But we have to remember, like, I don't know if we've ever missed a posting day for our podcast. For anything ever. <laughs> Truly. I Except mean, for. <laughs> well, we have by now, but for about six years, we didn't on YouTube. Yeah. Three days a week, baby. I feel really guilty not posting, but I shouldn't. You on know YouTube? What I mean? uh, no, like podcasts. Oh, like, no, say. Like if we couldn't today, I was like, it's fine. But I'm always like, oh. no, I know. You know, I it yesterday I was enough. like, I need to muster up the strength and we can just like, I didn't want to do it in real life because I wasn't sure what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't want anyone to have to do this. I don't really wish it's on my worst enemy. Do this. Um, I would on my worst <laughs> well, enemy. Well, I know you would, yeah. <laughs> Lots of people I could think I would want that to happen to. Um, I'm not above it. I know. But <laughs> yeah, I just was like, I think then throughout the day, I was like, okay, it's definitely not like a, like a stomach a flu bug. or something. So I don't know. We didn't say anything, but yeah, we haven't I, said anything yet. I was, I was afraid to say anything. So I was like, well, maybe she'll change her mind. And like, I just don't want to like tell people we're recording give, today give or not. Yeah. I know. And I know it would like, ugh, but this it. is what I've been doing for the past two days. So, um, this feels right. And now I'm just talking while doing it. What do you mean? This feels right. Just like, it feels fine. Oh, oh, to okay. be recording. Yeah. yeah. Carly came over. She's like, we don't have to record. Yeah. I was like, well, she's like, I need to sit down. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I just like don't have energy. So when I'm up doing stuff, um, that sucks ass. <laughs> it sucks ass in general. <laughs> yeah. Not even just after getting sick. I know. And I forgot that I have to like go look at doors. Doors? For the fucking ADU today. Today? Like I might have to be like, TJ, you got to go. And like, <laughs> don't, don't, like I was too afraid to go to the grocery store because I thought I was going to shit down the aisle. <laughs> I also just don't have the energy to literally walk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I had to do laundry. But <laughs> I, so Monday we flew home from New York and I woke up on Monday morning feeling ill. Like I had to keep were you chewing to fly? gum. No, I thought No, that, I mean like in ter- because you were feeling sick were you like, what if I do poop no, on the plane? No, because I didn't think that. I no. thought that I just felt, you know how sometimes when you wake up and you don't have enough sleep and you feel nauseous? That's me anytime I wake up before like nine. Yeah. So that is how I felt. And I was like, fuck, this sucks. Cause I could not sleep because every night prior we had been out to like two, three, four in the morning, which was fine. Cause I was like, I don't need to adjust to the time here. Yeah. If I'm only here for like three or four days. Hi, baby. You want to come to cuddle time? That time difference really helps the emo nights probably. No, it's so great. Cause emo night goes to what? 4 a.m. there they've gone away with three o'clock Oof. now but it feels only like midnight so it's not as crazy correct yeah, sometimes it does come in handy yeah little so, comparisons to times exactly <laughs> and we got there at like 1 a.m on thursday when we flew in so then like oh didn't sleep until like 3 a.m because we were like jazzed up we're awake yeah it's only midnight no i hate getting in late like that yeah i also i just hate getting settled in in the dark uh-oh why is we it, got an iPad, so her wait, phone. Why is it ringing on here? <laughs> you can put it in Do Not Disturb. Is it anyone important? I don't know. It says Atascadero, California. Then no. No one important is from there. I don't know how. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to work this yet. Let me see. <laughs> I think you just. Okay, I denied the call. I'm going to put your iPad on Do Not Disturb. Thank you. I haven't gotten around to like learning anything about it. That's why. Yeah, the background is still just the regular <laughs> Well, it's a professional <laughs> iPad. We'll get into that after I. Yeah, okay, it's a professional iPad. Come on. By the way, I don't know the- if we made it clear. We normally record on Mondays, which most people know. We upload on Patreon on Mondays, whatever. It's oh. currently Wednesday when we post. That's why we're like talking about it like this. Yes. Hi, Paris. Um, but yeah, so I woke up, didn't feel well, like literally was chewing gum on the way to the airport. And then I like ate a little bit, drank, felt fine for most of the flight, but like still a little nosh. Yeah. Then I came home, Thank ate God you made a home. full meal. And then after that, I was like, huh, I don't feel good. And then for the rest of the night, it was kind of just like that. I literally was like, maybe I'm hungover, but like yeah. I only had two drinks. Like I have no idea, but it felt like that. Oh. And I just had the feeling that like I needed to get sick. Oh, like you have to throw and, this up. Yes. Yeah. And like maybe then I'll feel better, but I, I hate getting sick. So I did not do that. Oh. And then around midnight, it started. 
it all, it all came loose started <laughs> um yeah i was it's all happening i was puking from like 12 to 5 a.m on and off like i would say like once every 30 minutes to an it's hour it's usually the way it goes like food poisoning yes and it was like oh my god every time i would get sick it would be like five pukes yeah and then i would settle and then you're like you feel so bad for yourself while you're puking because you're like oh my poor stomach like yeah and i'm, I'm just like, heaving oh, over the toilet Ugh. like my back I, like I, I need someone to film me because did I you record like, yourself? Remember when Mike no. said he recorded himself puking once? <laughs> I don't think I could do it. I couldn't either. What if you actually uploaded it somewhere? No, I know. <laughs> did so you mean funny. to post it on your story? We got to the point where like I literally was just like dry heaving, and then like green would come oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah. So just bile because there was nothing left in my stomach, and stuff was coming out the other end as well. Just and so you guys know. So then I was like, okay, I definitely think I have like the stomach flu because what else could this be? Um, and then yesterday, <laughs> I realized that on Sunday night, I ate a snail, <laughs> which I am always like escargot. fine with. Yeah. Okay. But it was like cooked into I like didn't a ask. Little... I was like, oh, she ate a snail. <laughs> like, yeah. in my mind, I have no idea what that means. No, it wasn't even, I think, esc well, I guess I don't really know the difference, but it wasn't like just the snail. It was like baked into like a oh. little like bread thing, but I ate the snail and I've never had an issue with a snail until Carly brought it up on Good Influences that of course it is I in did. fact a shellfish. Of course I did. So, However, Emma said it's not, it's a slug. So should we get I some confirmation? We it. I don't remember. Let me open my yeah, uh, my professional trusty, iPad, iPad <laughs> with your stylus that I don't know how to use. I can't get it up. <laughs> Wait, how do I get it? Can't even open spirit? her okay. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh God. Um, the internet. The internet. Snail. Is okay. snail what kind? Shellfish. I'm not asking you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not asking you. Who are you asking? Google. Yeah, that's what I was typing in. Snail shellfish. Well, now you're going to gonna get a biased answer. <laughs> it, you're giving it the answer. What do you want me to type? Um, <laughs> is snail a shellfish or a slug? Oh, snail. Okay. Or slug. I'm kidding, by the way, but I just feel like this is a better way to Google it. A land snail is a mollusk, but it is not from the water. So we don't call it a shellfish. I reckon you might as well just classify that one as meat. Oh. Okay, but that's the thing. So there's some that are in the sea. Yeah, but there are. And those are shellfish. Yeah, but that's what <laughs> so I'm Are your last two brain cells? <laughs> What's well, a snail? But see, that's what is How about the we issue. just don't eat snails? There's different categories of shellfish, and my thing has been figuring out which ones I can't eat. So I don't know what the opening ones are. <laughs> Clams. But yeah, but like. I don't know. Um, like a mollusk and a something. A crustacean. No idea. Just saying that out of pure confidence of my, I'm having no idea what that means. To be honest, I was born in the Midwest. Yeah, it says that they belong to a soft body animals called mollusks, which include oysters, clams, and squid. <gasps> so what does that mean actually? <laughs> I can't eat oysters, oysters clams. clams. I don't know if I can eat squid. Is that also I what mean. were you eating? No, but in the past, like my intolerance has been to yeah. that kind of like a quahog, which is maybe a, you just like a clam. I wonder what snail mutant would do on your face. <laughs> well, that's why probably on probably Carly unwell. Literally brought it up, being like, I don't think that. Well, I was like, if you're allergic, to, I read that if you're allergic to shellfish, if you snail mucin on your face, it, you break out and you have like can have like an allergic reaction, which makes sense because it's a part of a snail. I know. Um, but, and, and then, then I, I made like, like a clip of it because we were just like so dumb on the podcast trying to figure it out. Like Mike, Matt and Mike are like smarter about it. Obviously they're like, yeah. well, it has a shut, you know? So I made a TikTok of it and then it fucking came true. Well, it didn't come true, but it just like is weird that I we think just it did come true. I think it's me narcissistically. I think it's me. I think I'm doing You're all these things about Juju. Well, because I Can feel like I've like talked start, about this. Um, manifesting good things. I'm <laughs> trying. Okay. I'm trying. We'll say good things. Well, it's because we only complain. Yeah. I, I feel like I've maybe talked about this, but I can't remember. But when Emma and I went on our little like big sur trip, mm -hmm. we on our way back, we were talking about her, con it was when she lived in our condo. And I was like, she was saying how much she loved it. And like, you know, it's just the right place for her. And I was like, do you know the owners? Like, what do you think they would ever like sell it? Or like, oh God, and what then we did. literally two weeks later, she was like, Carly, I just got a letter that they're selling my condo. Maybe you have like a little bit, maybe it's not you like manifesting it. Maybe you have like a little ESP. I think I do because my mom does. 
I'm telling you, I could speak to the dead if I tried, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, and there was one other thing that I... You should, I think now more than ever, you should just start speaking things into existence. So that I'm going to overanalyze everything you say now. Great. Not in a way where I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. Maybe it'll come true. I am so beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) This is just about me. I'm so beautiful and smart and happy and so, so tea. So tea. So I think that's what's been going on with me. I'm at this stage where I'm no longer like throwing up. That only happened for until everything was. (laughs) We recorded yesterday. On Monday, even, and you're just no. Wait, when did you get sick? Monday night. Yeah, we were recording yesterday, and you're just throwing up during the podcast. No, I know. I <laughs> we did, just don't I acknowledge it. I didn't get sick at all yesterday, oh, but no. I was still so nauseous. I think it was just like my stomach. Yeah, and I was it, like lingers going a little bit. numero dos. So, yeah. um, it just wasn't great. But I do thank you guys for bearing with us, and luckily we can make our own schedule sometimes because. Yeah. It would have not been pretty. Not at all. Um, well, thank you for being so transparent <laughs> with your struggles. You know what? I do it for the people. I know. Um, it's but hard. It's hard yeah, to In other news, we got a work iPad. We did. So people will stop getting so upset that I look at my phone to fact check things. Even on here or on here and on Good Influences. Yeah. Did we talk about that on the podcast or was that the bonus episode? I don't remember. Bonus. Oh, okay. We had like a full-fledged conversation about this Because I was like, I think I should get an iPad. And then so she just like went and got one up there. fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because I was like- I'm And just... the, that's why I laughed the second she opened it. She got a phone call on the iPad. And I don't know why. I, I yeah. Know. I have mine. I think my computer too is just like on do not disturb. So I don't get like yeah. anything. I'm not interested in like, you, like I didn't download any apps. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just like, this is a work device. Yeah. You have text but it did on. sync with my- yeah that's the problem whatever so but when it did like um you know how you scan it and it's like transfer everything from your phone yeah i was like no because i don't want like yeah, yeah. my you instagram want fresh. Here. yes yeah. i don't want any of that stuff great update from apple though i don't know when that came out i feel like it came out years ago but Genius. like yes jesus christ i remember the first time it happened i was like what i think we were together i think we how? got gifted phones how was that before your bachelorette trip yes how i don't know does that work that's why we all have cancer now because we're transferring data (laughs) through the air but little (laughs) psa this will be used to i that's the thing about me we talked about on the bonus episode i love to fact check and i need to know right away yeah um so she's usually like googling but it obviously it looks like you're on your phone yeah so but then i say something so like it's obvious that i was googling i get it but i also like if i was watching a podcast i'm like you know i know but i also don't know like why does it why do you care I think it's just like, it's just paying attention. Yeah, but then I still contribute to the, the, the Fair. speak. But yeah, and that part's good. With the good comes the bad. So <laughs> now you But can now all... no one will even say anything because it's like, yeah, oh, it's like, a professional. Erin's just on her iPad the whole She's time. Drawing. <laughs> doing Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> You're just doing connections while I'm speaking. <laughs> this is really nice. Like, yeah. I'll probably do this a lot. Yeah, that's a slay. But it'll be good to fact check. I have to get used to like, using it Mm -hmm. because like i don't like this i'll show you like when i go to type it's just a little teeny box that's weird i don't think it no look (laughs) hit that there should be like an arrow i think oh weird mine's not like that yeah mine's a big a big keyboard because it doesn't on your phone i think sometimes it'll do that and then you have to like hit an arrow when it goes so it might take me a while to actually um, that's okay i can do the fact checking if i have to (laughs) on the ipad just take my phone out yeah yeah (laughs) we never use ipad it's It's never seen again like when you get a new phone you have to like adjust no it's so fun yeah i just haven't used it like i literally was like i'm gonna download i gotta get my notes app Mm -hmm. and google chrome and then i'm set tmz app or something i'm sure they have an app Oh, so t yeah but might be hard to like do on an ipad yeah this is also going to be really we were doing our bonus podcast episode Mm. and i was like every time i have to sit with my laptop in my lap and it is so annoying and that's how the conversation started about getting a little ipad so that it would be so much easier. And it'll be easier to like read and on good influences when you're reading like am i the assholes or whatever like it'll be big yeah i'm like the screenshotter reader person yeah and it is pretty hard to read because it's so little on your little teeny device i know and we have old eyes we're getting so old i know our eyes are i'm probably gonna need glasses soon you think actually well the lady when i went the last time was like i mean you don't have like perfect vision anymore but like you're not at a point where (laughs) you need it (laughs) just Um, had to throw that in there (laughs) yeah she was like you 
technically could get glasses, yeah. but it would just be like barely a difference. Oh. So, so like, I do think it's declining, mm -hmm. you know. Just like our everything. Yeah. Just, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you with my Ow. large water bottle. <laughs> just hurting you Ow. while you're already down. Um, no, Carly's been taking great care of me. She Actually, I don't know. I was, oh, I was such a good friend yesterday. Like, I can't even get over it. I should have posted on my story or something. I'm such a good friend. Yeah. You should have dropped it at my door and <laughs> posted it and said, oh my God, what did Tom Sandoval say? Oh, you know, it's your birthday. You should give a homeless person $100. Yeah, but what does he say when he leaves it? Oh, you dropped this. Oh, here, you forgot this. Oh, something like that. oh you dropped yeah, this. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, so oh, you dropped this. I did drop her off some prime. I have so much prime like hydration and they're basically like liquid IVs. I really like them. I, yeah, I, I brought you a couple different flavors. I brought you like a lemon drink I only too. have tried the strawberry watermelon, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little sweet, but that like more you drink, the better it became. Yeah. And I also think because like my stomach was yeah. a little icky that like even drinking the Powerade, I'm like, ugh, like yeah. flavor right now. Yeah. I even water a salt water is disgusting yeah water is always disgusting it tastes like water when you're sick like this tastes like water when you have a hangover Ugh, the I'm worst like, oh, i need like no water to, yeah you can't do it warm cold anything it's, it's like it's really devastating that ginger ale isn't like full of hydrating know, properties because that's truly the only thing that tastes good to me what about you apple juice that's why i wanted appy j is that better for you it just seems like it would taste better yeah and i think like I was reading that because I was like, what What should I be eating right now? Because mm. I need to eat. I'm starving. And I've only been eating. I ate three saltines yesterday <laughs> because I was so sick. I mean, it sucks eating when you're like. Ooh. And no appetite. Yeah. Um, but then I wound up eating like half the sleeve this morning. And I was like, okay, I should probably get some stuff. So I asked Carly if she could pick me up some bananas on her way here. <laughs> and then I read about this thing called the brat diet, which is like. Because I was like, what should you eat after you get have like the stomach flu or food poisoning? And it was like bananas, apples. I forget what the B is. Oh, bananas. <laughs> What's the R? What's the rice. A? What's oh, the a? bananas, rice, apples, oh. tea. I can't remember what the T is, but it was like very much. Oh, they're saying tea, like drink some tea. Oh, no. Like Maybe it the is. The letter T. I can't remember what it was. Toast. Mm. Toast. Absorb. And I was like, all of that sounds good to me. However, like eating a physical apple did not. So I was huh. like, I think I would like the apple juice. And even though it's filled with probably a bunch of sugars and whatever, stuff, it's app. There's apple in it's there. It's gonna taste. It's 100 organic. Yeah. So I also I don't really know what that means, but I love apple juice. Yeah, it's good. It's probably one of my. It's probably my favorite juice. I don't think it's mine. What's yours? I don't know. I never really drink juices. Like, or, would you have orange uh, juice or apple juice? Orange. I feel like apple juice gives me a stomach ache. I can see that. The same with orange juice because it's like so acidic. Acidic, yeah. It also is like- Apple juice reminds me of stomach ache, so. Yeah. Maybe I've never had a stomach ache from apple juice, but like it just makes me feel like I'm going to get a stomach ache and I don't want it. Maybe it's because you're supposed to drink it after stuff like this. That's probably why. And so you um, <laughs> align it with feeling sick. Maybe. I think I just align it with like, I had a problem when I was like, up until like I was an adult- whenever what time didn't matter what time i woke up my stomach would hurt so bad like i had crazy acid reflux i think Ugh. and so sometimes what i would eat or drink right when i woke up would like determine if my stomach was going to be like that and i think apple juice oh. made it like acidic yeah um <laughs> so stupid oh also i was drinking prune juice the other week it's pretty oh. good i've never had prune juice made so many fave <laughs> i didn't think it i was like Ugh, this is gonna be gross i just think of like pruny it hands. wasn't that bad I don't think I know what a prune is. I think it might still be in the fridge. I'll have you try a little sip after. <laughs> okay. um, but prune. the other night prune. when I was getting sick, I felt bad like continuing to go. in. it's also like easier to puke in this bathroom than in my bathroom. Yeah, because the angle of the toilet and yes. everything. Like yeah, this is it. long. Yeah, yeah. We've got the long haul. You can, let, you can do four, <laughs> full tabletop. No, like. literally. Like you're <laughs> fighting for your life, sweating. Like <laughs> I'm undressing. Yeah. yeah. And so I had to keep coming in here to puke. So then I wound up just like laying down in here. Oh, yeah. I could <gasps> hear. The noise in the ceiling. The in the ceiling. So when we record, there's always like a rat not right now in the ceiling yeah i guess it's not right now the whole fucking family it's got it yeah i think we had at my parents house like in omaha we had the same problem it was like well, i hope that they're having a nice time up there i know here and i was like what i know hope you're not struggling up there it's nice out yeah <laughs> they're fine they'll probably leave soon hopefully when it's they hear all the construction they'll probably leave you're welcome to stay as long as you want <laughs> but it's probably nicer outside yeah. at this point in time yeah 
Um, yeah, but so that's where I'm at right now. How was your weekend? Girl, it's Wednesday. I don't remember my weekend. <laughs> well, I don't remember yesterday. It is Wednesday. I'm trying to think. I feel like I watched, we, like Noel and I watched a couple different movies. I was proud of myself. We watched A Roadhouse and was Jake Gyllenhaal. How did you like it? I didn't really hearing, like it. Okay. I was just like, he didn't really like it either. Have you seen the original? No. Okay, me of neither. Of course. But I heard a bunch of people being like, fuck this one compared mm. to the original but also like everyone who's seen it, I have not heard good things from. Yeah, it was just very whatever. Um, Tea. Oh, we watched, actually on my birthday, I was like, I kind of want to see Drugstore June. It's Esther Pavinsky. She like made a movie okay. and like Bobby Lee is in it. Bill Burr is oh, in fun. it. Like all these comedians. And I really like is she Esther. she pregnant one? Um, she, yeah. Okay. Like she looks like a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, she's the one who she was in her ex-boyfriend's house yeah yeah yeah. Okay. this is the movie she was talking about when she was recording that saying she like oh. so basically she she went viral on a podcast saying she still to this day will go to like drive by her ex-boyfriend's house when she was like in high school and she's like 35 or something yeah and she was like it's purely nostalgia though it's not like i want to be with him or anything and like honestly i get that like i do the same shit if i was in omaha i'd be like what's this person doing like let me just see <laughs> i'm just weird like that but she made a movie kind of like based on her life a little bit like how okay. obsessive she is it's funny because the guy it's basically her being obsessed with her ex-boyfriend from two years ago and his name is Davey. And in real life, her fiance's name is Dave. <laughs> so that's very funny. But the movie was not that good. It was like, I just feel like the act, it felt, I feel so bad because I wanted to like it so much. I love everyone in it, but it felt like a YouTuber movie. Yeah. It, there, the, it was just- Well, I feel like with stuff like mm, that, they probably didn't have a big budget. No, they definitely didn't. Yeah. And I can appreciate that, but I just feel like she also plays like a- influencer she also works at a pharmacy and she basically gets accused of like robbing the pharmacy and just the way that they portrayed influencer is just so cr i just like Ooh. no one can nail it and nolan and i were talking about it and i think he had a good point he was like i feel like we're too close to it like this stuff is funny to like our parents because it's like holding a phone up being like what's up guys like but like nobody yeah. actually talks like that and like there was this i just feel like they could have done things better but i'm not a writer i could never write a movie i'm not saying i could have done better but just like this you're is, allowed to not like it i know but i mean me saying like i could have done it better <laughs> like like there was a scene where she was streaming on live and like her mom came in and she was like mom like literally still in front of the camera be like mom stop like you're so embarrassing like why do you oh can we do this later and then her mom said something like embarrassing and she was like mom stop saying that and in real life it would just been so much better if she was like they were like whispering fighting because like when you're on live you want to whisper and not have totally. everyone hear what you're saying and cover the camera i don't know it was just like it was well, fine. these are some notes. And when she makes her next movie, maybe she should take them into <laughs> Me, consideration. Me, who's never made a movie before. <laughs> but yeah, but like you're the audience. I am the audience. And, and you are in the world. True. And which, I'm not saying that in a way of like, I'm offended by like the interpretation of influencer. I just feel like sure. nobody has ever like they nailed it. it. Like too cringy. Yeah. And it's, it's like probably going to be funny in like 20 years with like looking back on it. It's yeah. like, oh yeah, we all acted so crazy or influencers acted crazy. But when you're in it now, it's like, it's not it's like 2013 it's like jake paul it's like jake paul like youtuber lance two times yeah so that was kind of disappointing fair, that's like the start of the internet and no one knew yeah. what the fuck they were doing that's true i'm gonna give everyone some grace there that's true and look at them now jake paul is fighting oh mike yeah tyson. mike tyson is that coming up soon i have no idea also didn't even know that it was gonna, it's just on netflix oh it's kind of nice we just watch it if we want <laughs> Oh my God. I think they're like streaming it or something. Yeah. I'm like, well, how do they make money then? I don't know. Probably a bunch of signups for Netflix. Tea. I'm assuming. Oh, but I also kind of assume everyone already has a Netflix subscription. <laughs> like, I what know. do you mean? <laughs> At least through you or someone else, you know? Yeah. Well, I had to get my own finally. It was very annoying. It was like, cause my parents live in Vegas and it was like, are you in this city? And it's I was like, so are you kidding stupid. me? It's the millennial, like, it's always the phone plan and the Netflix. I feel like that's the classic millennial, like we're in our thirties and we're still like on our parents' phone plan. I mean, yep. I'm not anymore, but like most people are until they're like in their thirties almost, or their, their parents don't even think about it. So they never kick them off or whatever. It's Netflix and the phone plan. I'm trying to think of when I got kicked off mine. <laughs> you're like 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, good luck. The second you get one, you're not on our plan. You're your own plan, bitch. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I think it, it was probably like 2016. Okay. So you're already living here. Yeah. You're like, I have to pay rent and I, now I have to fucking <laughs> pay my phone bill. I got, I went on to TJ's phone plan. Oh, nice. It was nice. probably, I don't. Damn, that was early on too. <laughs> oh no, I guess not really. 
2016. I don't remember when. Yeah, it was that probably either like 2016, 20s. I bet it's when I got a new phone. Yeah, you're just like luscious. And then I was like, because he had like a was that when you knew family. He went on it, his phone plan. That's when you knew. No. What if you broke there up? There were like other people on it. <laughs> oh. And so I was like, oh, that's easy. So like, what happens if you break up? Like, not you guys, but in general, can you just be like, <sighs> take me know. off the phone plan? You know, it's a big issue. Yeah, I have no clue. Hmm. How's New York? Um, it was good. I'm trying to, again. It's Wednesday. I know it's hard to remember anything. Well, I saw games we play. Oh, it was, was so Diddy I, good. I, he made a really funny TikTok. He did. Uh, games we play. Yeah. What was it? It was him and he. I think he was like in the in some room at Webster Hall and he was like, "Hey guys, I'm DJing Webster Hall. I'm kind of un, I'm really uncomfortable with parties. So we'll see how." And then it like cuts off and he's like with his shirt off on stage, like oh, rocking out. And yeah. Stuff. No, that was really funny. Yeah. I was standing right behind him. Uh, I was table. looking for you. I didn't see you though. Um. It that was really silly. We were all cracking up. Obviously, we didn't know he was filming the TikTok. Right. Um, he was so good live. I oh. cannot wait to go to Oh yeah, you saw him perform show. too. Yeah. But the, he only got to play like four songs. Yeah. And um that was a bummer because he's really good and funny. Mm -hmm. And I just loved it. I know. Love Emin. So shout I will be going Emin. to the show in April. Who are they opening? Yeah, for? shout out. No, it's like his own tour. Oh. But I think it's like obviously smaller venues. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be nice because I can see like a full set. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then, yeah, Hot Mulligan played after them. I don't know what that is. I, it's so funny. You'll die. Hot Mulligan? I, yeah, I don't listen to them. Okay. But the guy like just acted like he did not want to be there. Like he was like, we're hot mulligan and then they just started playing and it was very just like weird energy like you're a madison square garden oh oh my god i didn't realize it was and like was morgan there. is the uh, we were all kind of like this feels weird and like then, why the fuck am i here <laughs> yeah morgan was the one who was kind of like they don't seem like they're like excited to be here mm -hmm. and like that bums me out because this is like an epic venue yeah but during the, i probably watched like a song and then i went out to get a drink and <laughs> then I was like I don't want to go back in there <laughs> I just want to like sit and sip my beer and like chat yeah. but it's so loud in there that you yeah. can't and then like after 20 minutes TJ was like hey like are you okay and me and Cheryl had left to get drinks and I was like yeah it's just really dark and loud in there <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's a concert yeah <laughs> I was expecting like a chill time. <laughs> and I, so, like, I, I want just, lights on. I just like talking. need a little break. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That'd be me. And you could still hear the music yeah. out in the hall. So it was like, that's all fine. you really need. No. Yeah. You're and not I'm, into like, the band. Exactly. And yeah. So like the concert was good. It was Fall Out Boy, Jimmy Eat World. Hell yeah. um, oh, Jimmy I, World. Were they so fun to watch? Yeah. He was great. Fall Out Boy. Like. <sighs> They're just so cheesy. Oh, really? Yeah. And they perform? Yeah. In what way? I just like don't know how to like put into words. Yeah. I think it's because I I only listened to the first two albums and then like sort of the third album. And then I was like, this is like getting too yeah. weird for me. Um, but it I mean, they're it was so fun when they played songs that I knew. Yeah. But I, I think it's so interesting watching like a Taylor Swift perform yeah and then like watch people try almost to do try. that like oh were they like doing eras or something it kind of felt that way oh, it's been a long time coming uh, <laughs> they entered the stage no like even morgan said that like oh they did like uh with the first album like there was a very specific scene they would set where like they used the blue lighting and oh, they would like oh cool yeah mm -hmm. and then like they had the curtain for yeah for under the cork tree in infinity on high and then just like other elements That's really cool yeah but like even when Emin was performing I'm like he knows how to work the stage and like work the crowd I see I see and I just don't think that they do oh sorry and it might not be that they they don't know how. I think maybe it's just that they've been doing it for so long that they're like, we're just here. I was gonna say, maybe there's like a generational difference. Uh, totally. You know? Yeah. Like if we were to start YouTube right now, it would be so different. Oh, a hundred percent. Like, are we cringy? I don't know. <laughs> I know. Maybe we are. But overall, it was really cool to watch. And I stayed for Good. the 
whole entire thing. Oh. I was there from 6.15 to 11 p.m. Woo, I'll put in a whole shift. Truly. God damn. Yeah. Well, thank you for being so transparent again. You're well, I'm really- It's like my new favorite thing to say. Bearing my soul. You are being so vulnerable. Other than that, like I don't, I didn't really do much. We literally, I did the Fall Out Boy concert Friday, slept until noon. Slay. Then went to Elton's second birthday party. We all got him. Elton's second birthday party? Mark and Aaron's child. <laughs> I was like, who is that? <laughs> yeah. Who's a two-year-old, you know, in New York? <laughs> he, <laughs> well, that's where all our babies Went are. raging. <laughs> we, he kept, we got him like a little um, CDJ. Mm. And Cute. then like, he got a guitar, uh, oh. not like a clarinet. I don't know what it's called. I think it starts with like a Z or something, but like another form of like a instrument. real instrument like every not a recorder. No, they're like little baby instruments. oh okay i was um, like god damn elton and so i'm like we're pushing this on him like you're gonna yeah you have to go into the music industry yeah. toxic parents yeah <laughs> toxic fam who all went to berkeley yeah <laughs> toxic um, environment <laughs> um he's like a yeah, scientist he's so sweet what if he likes science <laughs> he might i don't think he will i think he will do something with music he better for sure <laughs> he better will be so disappointed for <laughs> sure <laughs> okay good um and then like it was emo night yeah and then slept and then the you next ate day some snails until 12 and ruined your life for a couple yeah. days yeah sunday we woke up at like 2 p.m oh my god what time was your flight monday at 10 a.m <laughs> oh <laughs> good point <laughs> <laughs> Did, when you wake up that late in new york are you like oh my god are you like no but well, only because we stay out so late yeah. like it was one of those things where i was like we have nothing to do during the day anyway that i'm yeah. not like bummed mm -hmm. if we were like booked and busy then i'd be like fuck That's but so it was like fine because i was like i'm not missing out on anything yeah. and it wasn't great weather oh tea. like saturday Did it rain? It was snow no rain oh and then it was fucking freezing like the sun was out two days we were there and it was like 45 degrees but i'm telling you it felt like it was 30. <laughs> it was so goddamn cold could have snowed i i wish it, it had another yeah. new york winter honestly yeah um yeah but so if it was like nicer and we slept that late i would be like that sucks like it could have been out yeah. like gallivanting i know i always feel like if i'm with people like if it's just me i don't care but if i'm with people i feel like i need to be up early because i don't want to like make them think i'm like sleeping in <laughs> <laughs> i think yeah. i have like an insecurity about it well i think it depends if like there's stuff to do sure yeah but also if i'm there for like a week like i will make an effort to start adjusting Oh, totally. I just like knew I didn't have to do that. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to fuck up my body. Yeah. We're seeing on LA time, bitches. But then my body <laughs> did get fucked up. Yeah, it did in a different way. It said, ha you plan for one thing? I'm doing another. Yeah. Oh. That's like it. That's what we went there for. Yeah, fun. And we did everything that we wanted to. We said, we want to go to Moneta Tavern. I don't know what that is. Which we did. It's like our favorite restaurant. Oh, okay. And then we wanted to go to this bar called Ear. I don't know if I have told you this, but it was the bar that we went Here. to after Watch What Happens. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Fully blacked out. Mm -hmm. I remember you telling me that. And I did not know that while we were there, another bartender had asked TJ to help him run lines. He was auditioning for <laughs> like to get assigned to an agency oh, or okay. something. TJ and was like helping him run lines. Yes. That like, night. He, like he was like filming it, I think. And oh. like they did like takes of it. And TJ said he was doing it for like such a long time. And then a couple weeks later, him and the guy connected. And he was like, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Like I got <gasps> the part. Oh my God. And so then we're like, we have to go back. <laughs> yeah. I texted my new bartender friend who <laughs> I somehow wound up with his phone number. And the same guy he was not working no because oh. we were like we should pop in and like say hi to the yeah. boys say hi to the bo our boys he wasn't working but we got there on sunday night we were like in the area before and we were like well we're already over here like it's a six minute walk like let's just pop in and see if your guy is working mm -hmm. and he like starts walking up to come help us and then like probably like five seconds realizes it's tj literally just grabs him in a bear hug oh and was like thank you so much like 
where like took a reserved sign off of a table and like, sit down. <laughs> it was so sweet because I'm sure this man has probably asked like dozens I'm of sure people to like, help him what? before. And TJ genuinely was like, "Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> like, let's do it." Fun. It was so cute. And congrats now, to this man. Congrats to this man. I think we have a friend for life, and I love that. Did he get place. signed to an agency? I'm not really sure. Okay. what it was for it was yeah. either like a role yeah or to an agency but teachers like how are things going he was like ever since that like things have just been like good juju onward and Opposite upward of me. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i only do bad things but that's because you're having like you're being warned that by um like cycle psych the the spirits they're telling oh yes you. my spirits and they're yes. like they she needs to put that out there so people i know, know. I also manifested my claw clip breaking one that I wear all the time. I was telling Emma. Oh, claw clip. I was telling Emma, it's I wear this like purple fuzzy one a lot. Uh-huh. And I was like, she was like, I love when you wear that one. And I was like, I love it too. And I was like, you know what? I have no idea where I got this from. I don't know if it was from a PR package. I don't know if I got it from Target. I don't know if I got it somewhere. And I was like, if it broke, I'd be so sad. And then literally that night, it's not broken, but one of the, the Carly. one of the things broke off. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's right it's probably because you knew someone was like telling you like it's gonna break yeah i know i need to like meditate or something and talk to my spirit guides yeah you should talk to the pet communicator <laughs> i should and then i can talk to paris and be like shut up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love me stop being a brat stop growling yeah, at why Mike. isn't she with us is she outside is paris in the room with us right now i don't know you tell me um my spirits are saying no okay but my eyes are also telling me no Okay, and my ears are telling me she's out there. I think I just heard her claws. Her claws? I th- her like her nails. I don't call them claws. They're claws. Do you not call them claws? No, I don't. That's so funny. I call my cats claws. Well, those are claws. What's the diff? Those are talons. <laughs> They're knives. <laughs> yeah, I call Paris. I call her nails. I just say claw. I, I like that word claw. For a dog? Yeah. That's what they are. Claws. I said it too many times it lost its meaning. I'm just thinking of Santa Claus now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Do you have anything else that you would like to share moving I don't, forward? I don't think I do. I think I've also been pretty vulnerable. Like I... You are liking this word. I didn't do much this... Well, I'm just kidding. I'm making it really dramatic, but... Yeah. I had my birthday. I turned 33 on Thursday. Everyone say happy birthday, Carly. Everyone, you better say happy birthday. Um, wow, a week into 33. Tomorrow. Almost, Yeah. How has it been? I've had a headache a lot <laughs> since. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe this is my downhill. Wow. I've also been sweating every night in my sleep. And I'm like, am I dying? But I'm also starting my period. So I think that's okay, why. That's probably it. You looked very scared. Yeah, that's not a good sign. I know. And I'm aware. It happened to me a couple times. It's happened to me a lot the past week. Like almost every night. You're getting your period. I've never really had that with my period though. But I feel like well, this, now that you're 33. No, I'm telling you, it's gotten so much worse. I actually do want to talk about this for a very brief second. But yeah. sometime last week, I was just completely devastated for no reason, like crying. I was like, my cat's gonna die one day. Like, oh, why? Yeah, I saw your TikTok. I was like, my cat's gonna die. Parents are parents will for sure die sometime. Maybe I'll die before them, but like they'll probably die before me. Um, just think of all these things that are bad, and like I couldn't get out of it. It was so weird, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Well, my period's starting next week. So probably why." And then I felt fine the next day, like totally fine. And then yesterday, I was so uh, annoyed and angry at everybody, <gasps> not you, <laughs> and not like, like anyone specifically, but I would just be like, you know, when you're just like, you know, the vibe. Like second course. day of period, I haven't started mine yet. Still trying yeah, to. Yeah, like someone says hi, and you're like, never fucking. Look yes, at me. I was just like, uh, and it's also like a mix of just like tiredness that you don't. It's like you're not supposed to be tired, but you are. Oh, just the worst. Well, maybe it's good we didn't record yesterday. Yeah, I think I it would have helped you me to be. Well, I think I would have. <laughs> it would have helped me maybe to like be around people and be like, oh, not everyone is terrible. Oh, um, who did you think was terrible? Nobody, just the world. Okay. Yeah, fair. I was just like fair, fair, fair. Like cars, when I drive. I'm like, oh you're probably going to crash into me, aren't you? You know, just piss for no reason. Uh-huh. <laughs> just mad at everyone for crossing a street. Of course. Yeah. It's vulnerable. Well, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. You're so brave. I know. Um, I have a headache. I hate being Have you been taking anything for it? I did today. I took ibuprofen. Ugh, so annoying. Yeah. You didn't change like your birth control or anything? Your, any medication? No. Okay, you just got like re, re-upped <laughs> on your meds. But oh. it's the same kind. Yeah, I haven't take, started taking it yet though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, well, maybe if it's different. I know. 
Nope, it's the same. It's just it your peer peer. It's just me declining as a human. <laughs> oh, TJ's here. He's going to have to shut, shut door. our door. Shut. He's on the phone? Who's that whore? <laughs> I think it's Cappy. It's a sister. <laughs> I'm also feeling pretty vulnerable filming with two of my nails having oh, popped off. Oh, whole Aaron. I know. <sighs> to be fair, I That's... wasn't actually sick yesterday. I just couldn't get myself to record this. <laughs> I couldn't get my nails done. <laughs> well, that's... No, I know. And you I'm need like, a, I mean, whenever I have, they get in war, when you have like a, an award, like you should be getting one of those. I know. I have both of them. The nails. So I think I'm just going to glue them back on because I simply, I don't think or I have good influences. <laughs> yeah. Like today I'll glue them back on. Do you have nail glue? I use super glue. I have nail glue. Does it work though? It's for like, yeah, it's for like press ons. But like with the super glue, that shit's okay. Not just use budging. that then. But I don't know how it's gonna be when you try to take it off. No, while well, they take it off, or they're like, "Hey, what the fuck did you do?" No, they just like don't care. Do don't the ask questions. File thing. Yeah. Oh, I'd be like so nervous to go, and I'd be like, "They're definitely gonna like not be able to get this off, or they're gonna try to, and it's gonna rip my nail." I've never had a problem. Oh, well, great. The gorilla glue. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Let's move, do this day in history really quick because we have a lot of things to discuss, actually. It is nice that we're recording today. We're fresh off Vanderpump. No, I know. I was like, so. oh, should we do this? I did say that to TJ. I was like, well, I had to watch it because. Oh, yeah. Good. Good excuse. I watched it without him last night. That's a great excuse. He deserved it, though. Okay. This day in her <laughs> herstory. Yes, that's right. Um, Haley Bailey. Haley Bailey? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Mariah Carey, Jesse J. These are birthdays. Fergie, Brenda Song. Damn. Quentin Tarantino. I know who that is. And today is Christine Sadalko's 30th birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday, Queen. Happy 30th, Queen. So many, it's so weird when there's so many celebs on the exact same day. I know. What was in the water? I don't know. And then for Something today, good. we have Grey's Anatomy. Oh my God. What an iconic day. Mother oh. by Megan Trainer. Oh. They I meant the movie. Mother. I feel like I've seen her getting like dragged you online recently. Me. For what? There was just something she was on, like a podcast or something. I remember she kind of got canceled for a while when she like, well, not canceled, but people were upset that she said something about teachers. But she really didn't mean, I don't think she like meant it. I, I just saw yeah, something on TikTok that people were mad about, but I cannot remember. She did you like agree? A, did she you was on like a also, talk show or something. Were you like, yeah, this is fucked up? Or were you like, this is stupid? No, I just was like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how I feel. I also think I watched it and I was like, I don't understand how you're getting this from that. That's most of the time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People, I think, like, look too deeply into Well, things. yeah, that's a whole problem. I was like, like, wait, what? <laughs> y'all need to. Like, I was reading the comments and I was like, uh, that's not what I took away from this. I wish I knew. I'll have to look later. I'll have to find. What the fuck was it? Because now I'm curious. I think that she was talking about. Okay, it's coming back to me. I think that she was talking about her recording style. Okay. And I think it had to have been on some podcast or something. And she was just saying how, like, she does everything and, like, not everyone is like that. Like, she, like you know, like, people, like, she writes plays her, her own songs. She plays a saxophone. <laughs> yeah. She no, plays like, all the horns. <laughs> she writes her own songs and, like, the way she does it is so different from everybody else, like, in whatever way. Like, uh, that could be true. I don't know how the fuck everyone else records. Yeah. But then people were, like, being, like, oh, like, you think you're better than, like, Ariana and, like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you're, like, talking down on those people. And I was, like... I didn't get the sense she was talking about oh. anyone. I think that she was just saying how she does it. See, that's where I always feel like my judgment is off because I'll see something or like even a show and I'll be like, do, do, do. And then all the backlash comes out of like someone that said something crazy and like, I just never caught it or like cared. Yeah. Or like this, like I could have seen it and like. I got to find it. Yeah. And see what I need to think. know. But like for me, I was just like, I didn't get that at all. I think that she's just like proud of the way that she creates her art. Yeah. People can take things and make them negative very easily i know i guess it depends on like how she said it i'll have to watch and like this is i'm not like a a trainer <laughs> no no definitely not assuming that's what her fan trainer. Is called. <laughs> we're the trainers <laughs> they all have like gym clothes like, on I, I just saw the clip whistle and, they're wearing whistles yeah i think because the <laughs> caption of it was like here she is blah, blah, blah. and i was like oh why well, i want to see what Ooh, she said I and then i watched see. it and i was like huh yeah that happens to me like mm, i'd say like 80 percent of time. like people being mad i'm always like yeah. huh no i agree but i think it's, it's just like if you're mad to look it's into valid. things but like totally i don't know i think that's why too like that's why i don't mind like looking at like snark and stuff sure. because like it's just like 
silly like yeah, until I don't people know. are really mean i don't like when people are of mean. course people get really mean um yeah, like I would never want to read I think it about it's myself. To theorize, <laughs> yes. But when you're it's like, like we did like vlog squad gossip, like that stuff. It's just like yeah. silly. Like also, they weren't really like mean at the time, but yeah. they weren't like really mean to us. They well, they got until mean, they but, were. <laughs> they got mean, but like when we were doing those videos, they weren't like totally. terrible. Yeah. Um, I Carly like had me look at half the people I don't even know like anything about. Like the snark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, these people it's are crazy. So mean. Not yeah. about us. It wasn't about us, but it was just like, this just is like, what you huh? think. Like the things that people think are so, like even just like being like this person's ugly. I'm like, no, really? Like I was getting upset. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't understand like why they're so mean. It's not like they're like saying something that's like factual and then making a good point about it. They're just like oh, this person's such a stupid bitch. Look at the way she dresses. Yeah. Oh, like you're fat. She's so fat. Okay. She's Listen, so Aaron, skinny. we've all been in middle school. Okay. No, literally. We've all been in middle like, school. These people like, know how to operate Reddit. Like they're smart. I can't even No, do that. I think that they are mostly adults too, Me which too. is like so That's crazy. That's what Mike is always like. These people are 13. I'm no, like, they're, uh -uh. no, they're, you can be like 30 and be like, a bitch. A bully. <laughs> <laughs> you can be 30 and a bitch. And a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, which if warranted, go for it. Sure. Okay. Um, news. I didn't really have much. One thing that was like crazy to me was this like Baltimore Bridge thing that happened. Dude. Crazy. Wild. I I have <laughs> my Twitter feed has turned into like QAnon. Central. Oh god. No, it's crazy. <laughs> like it's I'm like, now on the point of like Kate Middleton is dead and that video was AI. <laughs> the video was AI, yeah, of course. <laughs> um I'm getting cued, baby. Dude, no, it's no ever of course, like people who have no concept of like it's just crazy. I'm yeah. not even getting into it. But, but people are people are literally like breaking this down, being like, "This was an attack. Yeah, this was pre-planned. Look at yeah. the way that the course of the ship was going." And then, oh, what do you notice? The lights just go out. Like I read an, uh, a thing that was like a <laughs> captain of another ship. Who, who, he's like, a "We should just be cute." Like how fun and delusional I would know. life be if you were just like, "No, everything's a conspiracy." Yeah. D it's not that serious <laughs> like, no i know i kind of but then i like see the other side of it and i'm like okay like it's not but it's like fun to get yeah. like in it for a minute no totally no i know it's like when but, i was little i remember watching like this conspiracy about 9 11 and like i showed my parents and they were like that's don't, what did it don't see everything online oh. like don't yeah no they were <laughs> they were like that this this video or this it was like a it was called loose change do you remember that? No. It was basically a video Probably. saying how it was a conspiracy. I'm <laughs> I was literally on Reddit watching on Loose Reddit. Change in like middle school, <laughs> yeah. reading Friends. Yeah, scripts. you and your weird like murder. <laughs> Clay Aiken. Your ugly body size. What was it called? <laughs> oh, rotten.com. Yeah. Um, I don't talk about that on here because we'll get canceled. But um, <laughs> anyways. Um, oh, yeah. They were like, it's literally full of just like scary music. It's like meant to make you scared and yeah. think that it's not real. And there's any in my opinion any conspiracy video i've ever watched it's like there's a completely reasonable reasoning behind yeah. why something why yeah so it's just i get it it's fun to explore people love conspiracy theories it's just crazy how far it's gone in the past you know couple of years but it's wild it kind of like ruined conspiracies for me because they were so they're fun. not like fun anymore yeah they're not very fun and it's now it's just like oh you're you do a podcast, <laughs> you would drink adren adrenochrome. It's like, no, no that's not true. I know. Yeah. The crazy thing that like with the Kate stuff is I'm like, the technology is so good now. Like that's very The plausible. Kate thing is weird. And I do, <laughs> I'm with you a little bit. So Kate Middleton, obviously it's sad. She came on, they came on the video. She has cancer and she was talking in it, sitting on a bench, little flowers behind her and things just aren't adding up, I suppose. Things are not adding up. Hmm. According to the internet, not me. <laughs> well, yeah, but- but however, um, I consume the internet and it's getting in my brain a little bit. The thing is, it's hard though. Cause I saw something that was like, how come her hair is blowing, but all the flowers behind her aren't. Yes. And it's like true, but also hair is like a lot lighter. And in the background, her, I will say was like, um, she was probably sitting focused on, or she was sitting in her bedroom. And they just like, put yeah. it in her mouth. like who fucking knows? I think like a lot of the weird suspicious things to me were like the shirt she was wearing was the same as in a video oh. <clears throat> from like a couple years ago. Well, she could have just reworn it. She's royalty. She's not rewearing stuff. Oh, I don't know. That also, that thing. like Prince William wasn't sitting with her, like addressing this. Like they're just like. Also, there was like this big thing about her ring, which like I started watching. They were saying like oh, when she moved her I hand, it disappeared. But uh -huh. I was like, I think I can still see it. Oh, okay. Like that seemed a little weird to me. But I do. I'm just saying, 
It's not out of the question. Yeah. According to the internet. I hope she gets better. No, of course. Thoughts and prayers to Kate Middleton and the family. Um, Yes. It's a little weird, but that's okay. I think it, I think that it's, um, I didn't like all of the people who came online to be like, you all owe her an apology oh, yeah. when it's like, okay, but no one really started caring about this until the palace started putting out really shady. They were gaslighting things. us. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, of course I feel bad for her, but like, I'm not sorry. I was laughing at memes because they yeah. did such major fuck ups. It's just like everyone was doing it. Yes. It's like people are literally commenting on celebrities, Instagram posts being like, you need to apologize to oh Kate my Middleton. God. <laughs> Okay, if Kate Middleton comes out and says, I want apologies, then apologize. 100%. Like, I'm sure if any, she probably if understands. If anyone owes her an apology, it's literally- The palace. The fucking palace. Yeah, just blaming her. Yeah, crazy. So. Um, okay, we, a, a little fun update. We got Tavis on vacation. Oh, yep, yep. Cuties in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. Didn't like all the body shaming I saw. Body shaming? Yeah. I didn't see any body shaming. Oh, so much body shaming on Taylor. People were literally like, is she pregnant? Oh my God. Yeah, She's no. literally drinking. No. <laughs> in the pictures. Yeah. yeah. So that's so up. funny. I saw a picture. I saw it yesterday. Someone tweeted pictures of her in like the ocean. They're like, her body is insane. Yeah. So that's like all I've seen. <laughs> no, she looks amazing. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> the big story of the week is uh, Diddy's house getting Dude, raided. Dude, what the fuck? Carly, your TikTok popped up on my feed and it made me LOL. I know. It made me LOL too. I was like, what is this? Carly reporting like TMZ. I know I was. It's like, t- I get TikToks like that, but like never from you, <laughs> obviously. Well, the thing is I saw it. I don't know what it was. It was something and it was like posted like 10 seconds ago. And it was like, right now, Diddy's house is getting raided. And I was like, ooh, I could get on top of this. You, she got on top of it. I tried. You reported, you were a full on anchor. I know. Reporting But live. I kind of like am embarrassed by it. Why? Because it's like not me. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not you, but like you're giving the people what they want. True. It was very uh, funny though, because it's out of character. So out of character and that it didn't feel good. I'll but be honest. You're branching out. Well, Joe was like, you should do like true crime. Like, I feel like your TikTok would blow up if you did true crime. And I was like, I don't care about true crime that much. And then I was <laughs> like, well, this is interesting. And I just like did it on a whim. Yeah. She was like, Diddy's house has been raided. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried. I really With did. like the green screen. I'm so and vulnerable to like I'm hate. obsessed. Oh, what? What? That's like normal what green screening yeah but like it's the whole the whole setup of it oh, i know i'm like embarrassed by it i need to no, oh not I, be. i'm not saying it because you should be embarrassed no I, not even because of you i was oh. like after i posted i was like this is like not what i post but whatever well you tried it i tried and i don't how did it how to do f- not great it was oh. fine well maybe you just but also like people keep- were commenting like being like lol okay carly news anchor and i was like okay this is like <laughs> not, not what i wanted i think it's well i should have made it like it funnier like but i can't make it funny because rea- i was sex no, trafficking i think that's the thing because it was so serious yes. and it, like it's so drastically different from everything you post yeah but i mean like we can't shame her for trying something new no we can't but i i do think people were- i think if i enjoyed it i'd have a totally different attitude yeah. about it but i was like i don't even really care about breaking news like this much to be like a yeah. tiktoker who's <laughs> breaking news diddy's house was raided yeah. what did you find in your findings it was like right when it happened so nothing oh. it was just like all i knew was <laughs> it was his house but he wasn't there so i was like okay maybe he just owns a bunch of houses and just like, i think he also has one in miami rents it out but yeah but at the time i don't think miami had been raided yet or we didn't no. know about it so i was like okay maybe people were just living here that were doing sketchy stuff no, his, like his kids were there and everything. Yes, now I know. Oh, oh, sorry. No, it's okay, but it's just like- Oh, sorry. What, for what? I Because I didn't know at the time you didn't have the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. It was like literally, I swear to God, it had just happened. <laughs> I swear. Um, I don't know. Where is he? So wait, I saw the TMZ. He's saw in him. Miami. Okay, he's in Miami. And he was he, spotted at the airport. I know that. Yes, and he did not get detained. Right, so what is going is, on? I don't know. Huh. I like tried, uh, it was just not clear. I saw 50 Cent also is making a documentary about Slay. About Diddy, and he announced it in like December, and he's posting about it now, being like, oh, this couldn't come at a better time. So I don't know if he's about to like leak a bunch of things something he there's something about jay-z in the mix like i don't really of, know yeah a lot of people there's this woman who i think like a couple months ago started being like this, this is woman. the timeline of when all of these things are going to start happening to him and oh the psychic yeah it's i don't know if she's gonna be me <laughs> um astrologist i really have no idea i just like saw a tweet or something and they're like oh. everyone better start following this woman because she literally predicted all of this happening dude but i wasn't sure like 
yeah who she is or what she i does. mean people have been like saying this for a while apparently yeah was, nolan was like oh yeah cat williams had this whole thing and like talked yeah that was just like a couple months so ago. much tea about all these people yeah. and i really like watched it but now i'm kind of like okay maybe i should someone did get arrested it was like um i forget what, oh it was like a drug mule yeah yeah he had like drugs on him so they arrested him but it's like okay but, like what is diddy in trouble like i know maybe he's fine <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, I would think that if he had, if they had evidence that he did anything, he would for sure be detained at this point. Yeah. So what's going on? I mean, I'm not a cop. I don't know. I know. What the hell was that noise? I don't know. Maybe there's a bird in your house. So I'm like, Ree! that's what's above there. Yeah, there's birds. <laughs> okay. Oh, ew. Gorge. Um, I did put down Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> like, no, we can't talk about it. I'm trying to think. Well, do you have it? Oh, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank God, I can't, I can't break it down in my We're head. We're going to go in order. Okay. It basically starts with like dumbass Billy Lee and Sandoval talking about how um, he's like, oh, I am going to buy Ariana out of the house yeah. for, for like $1.9 million. And my question is how? I had the same question because didn't he like borrow money from his mom? Uh, There's so many things. Like I don't, I guess like. He keeps saying he's broke. Yeah, I don't know. This is very confusing to me. Maybe he just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he's just saying he doesn't have money, but he actually does. Cause like these people make so much money per episode. I'm like, how? But, but he lives million He lives way above his means, I think, Tom. A hundred percent. I so. wonder if it's like different. Like you, you don't like, like maybe she gets like payments. I have no yeah, clue. Yeah, true. I literally have no idea how that <laughs> works. Dinner. But I would like for someone to explain that to me because I do not know yeah. how that is possible if you just have to pay someone $1.9 million or whatever. So that's her half. Yeah. Damn. But, oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. She Oh, she did just buy a house though. I saw for like, what? $2 million? Well, I think 1.9. Yeah. She, so she's doing fine. Maybe 1.7. Good for her. Something like that. It looks really cute from the outside. It's like mid-century. A bunch of like people posted photos and then she was like, can you please delete them? Oh. I don't want people to know how to break into my house. Yeah. Which is devastating because I would obviously love to see the inside. Yeah. I actually think I saw pictures on Twitter like you yesterday. Must have. Yeah. Um, I will be sad I can't walk by Ariana anymore. <laughs> well, you can walk by Tom. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we'll just become besties <laughs> um and then your scene with ann and ariana oh yes when i was, was talking about. so cute and so was so cute. excited she was like please hire me did you see ann and talk about this at all no okay so i saw someone recapped her, she did release her podcast okay. i think today or last night and she said that she was for sure on shrooms when she was on the facetime she with was ariana so funny she's like you can tell yeah she's like i was so lovey-dovey like it makes me so lovey-dovey and you yeah. can tell i was like on shrooms um so i just thought that was very uh -huh. funny I love Anne. She yeah. is like truly the MVP of this season. I love how she was just like, but I want to work for you. Yeah. I'm like, her, dude. Her face, she just goes, I know. Obsessed. <laughs> um, okay. Then Lala like goes get and gets lunch with all the boys or like mocktails or whatever. Yes. Which is just like, what are we doing? I don't understand this. Oh yeah. That scene was very whatever. Oh, I actually think I just said, no, no. Lala got just... Oh, with Sandoval. With Schwartz. Or Schwartz, I mean, yeah. Yep. But I wrote Lala hanging out with all the boys. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question <laughs> mark. Then the first one I did was Schwartz. This is when Schwartz reveals to her that him and Sheena made out. Yes. During a rocky moment between him and Katie, which, which is like, yikes. Does not signify a breakup. It just means that he just cheated. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So that was, I've been waiting for this all season. I know. I feel like this was supposed to be like the big thing of the season, but it just isn't. It like it seemed very not. played up during the trailer. Yes. And it wasn't even on the trailer for the second half of the season. Yeah. Which is so crazy. I did think it. Made... I feel like it's just not going to be a big deal. And that's why. Yeah. I think like we won't hear about it past yeah. this episode. Yeah. Um, but it was interesting. Yeah, it was. And I was curious this whole time. I've been like, what's the actual tea? Because. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Um. But we can get into that when Sheena. Because I'd be. Were Katie and Sheena like friends then? I don't remember. Sheena was Katie's bridesmaid in the wedding. No, I know. But this was like way before the wedding. Not friends then. But Sheena was like, I didn't want to tell her because she already yeah. didn't like me. Yeah. Which is like, okay, that's. I just feel like. 
fuck is up recording again <laughs> guys i've had it with this damn camera oh yeah we are our we camera have, we're using our vlog camera if you haven't noticed the stupid apologies quality. for the quality it's really bad can't figure it out but our camera and went off for repairs and actually i just got a call this morning that it's gonna be twelve hundred dollars to fix it it might not even fix it so now we're like what do we do just use it and just hope for the best just get it sent back yeah Oh, you like sent it. How to send it out. Oh, I thought you dropped it off somewhere. I did. And they had to send it oh, out. Oh, yeah. Let's just get that boy back because I don't like this camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone does. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone does. <laughs> um, What were you saying? I don't remember. About Sheena? Nothing? I can't remember. Okay. Sorry. I don't remember at all. That's all sidetracked. Um, then there was another scene where Lala goes and gets like mocktails with all the boys, mm -hmm. which whatever is weird and she while she's there this is like what stuck out to me she was having a conversation with sandoval and sandoval was just talking about like the house situation and lala said that she can relate to him because um she knows what it's like to be held hostage okay didn't like that insinuating that ariana is holding him hostage oh i see i didn't she, i feel like well maybe you are saying this but i thought she meant like hostage in a terms in terms of like everyone's holding you to this one thing and like not oh no i thought it was like in reference in of the, the house, house because Maybe. Ariana, i probably wasn't like paying attention enough because he was part. like oh like the lawyer emailed her whatever blah 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 i see oh and to like, be like actually none of us are leaving yeah yeah you she just didn't need to say that i guess i didn't even catch that and like she's not holding him hostage lala like you don't know their fucking business talk yeah. to ariana about it maybe you'll yeah. hear why like she's not signing the papers yeah i don't know um then while they were there sandoval invited lala to come to like some weird meditation <laughs> the thing, breathing thing which was so uncomfortable to watch i had to leave the room like, i was like recording a podcast yeah i i was like i'll pee during this and then i could hear it while i was peeing you know what's so funny i've done breath work not like that yeah, but that, that's fine and normal but it's like he it was feels like, like that. oh i would never scream <laughs> like i could yeah. never i'd be like i'm doing this on purpose <laughs> this is very fake um i wonder if that like worked though <laughs> Yeah, he's cured now. Not like for him. I just mean like I wonder if that stuff I'm has, sure. has to work, right? I don't know. He seems to be like using all of these like wellness tactics totally. for content. I think he's trying. It's like his he's trying to redeem himself yeah. without actually going to therapy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we don't know if he's in therapy. I feel like he would mention it. That's right. He would probably not show up about it. You're so right. Yeah. But um, I don't know. And that was an interesting conversation. She's pretty law is pretty much just like i don't care about anyone but me <laughs> i know <laughs> it was kind of iconic though when she left that i will get there probably but when she left she's like everyone's annoying i love oh, you all yeah. goodbye I was yeah like, okay no i liked that yeah that's so true yeah um the way everyone moves <laughs> like what are you saying so no but i do hate when she does stuff like that because she's acting like she's above it all when i'm like you've done shady shit too like oh, you literally slept with James when he was with I know. Like you have done I all think of she's gotten so much therapy and help. Like I can tell by the way she speaks. Yes. It's like very therapy coded. Like even when she was talking to Sandoval, I was like, this is so therapy. No, she seems like she's like definitely matured in that sense. But I'm like, okay, but they're talking about things from like 13 years ago or whatever. Yeah. It's not like it's like present right. day. I know. And like you did stuff like that too i mean at the reunion last year she was screaming at no, i mean i know but that's why i'm was, like shocked by her like flip of like under not understanding but like i don't want to say level-headedness but just like being super communicative and like i'm not holding you to a standard like she's speaking so therapy i'm just like what obviously there's time in between the reunion and this but i'm just like good lord i know what'd you do ayahuasca lobotomy like what the fuck <laughs> full lobotomy <laughs> um okay then they go to this like party james is djing oh yeah yeah and um, they were insane to joe all of the girls were talking shit about joe i, I thought she was being like a little mean she okay thank you i was like this feels like a mean girl even the group i know she's like done stuff yeah but she's not the person to blame i feel like joe who knows what they well, were telling joe you know what I mean? What was Schwartz telling Joe? Well, Joe was friends with the girls first. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's why I was okay. like, I understand like Katie and Ariana. Okay. But, like Sheena like doubling down and like Sheena was being fun mean. of her for like, like Ariana was Show just up your like, hair. I just don't like her because she knew about my yeah. 
yeah um, the affair yeah and like that's shitty to me but she wasn't being like look at her ugly fucking outfit when she was like, saying that like your hair stylist show your sell your hair i was like she's not there to sell her hair no i know <laughs> like what are you saying that was really that's where i, I think was she like, was just okay, really drawn becoming too much she not yeah no i think she was too um i but i get like the other girls perspectives but i didn't like the mentality of like but i'm also like but they all like get and then she was crying i was like jesus like i know i felt a little bad for her i'm not gonna lie yeah i just feel like she means no harm i agree but i think from their perspective the harm's already done okay that makes sense and like i get like not interacting with her yeah no i get not interacting with her but i'm also like how did she hear them <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a lot quieter than we think weird maybe yeah. they can't play music james, james isn't even DJing, djing because they can't even play the music on bravo no. <laughs> he has to dj like the stupid songs they play in between the yeah. scenes um her hair did look good though so it i did, did. i it like did how she did say to her too like i'm gonna bully you to keep the hat off like i thought that was like her being like bantery silly. a little yeah but then when it started then turning I was like, into like okay. talking shit about her in her business i was like okay huh yeah I don't know. This, and, she, like, and then after she left mean to be mean and i noticed after she left crying she's like where's joe i'm like why do you care where joe no, is I know. like what i know i feel like i i actually thought i was like i bet production um was like joe just ran off crying and so she was like oh trying wait to... where is she i see i see i see it wasn't like a i miss her <laughs> yeah like where'd she go we we're having a great conversation yeah <laughs> i think it was like word had gotten back to her that maybe joe had left um okay then they go to sh to sir which oh yeah Brittany and sean made a little cameo they did mm -hmm. what the fuck i did not see that they were like on the street leaving stop they read sir as tom <laughs> it was when her friends came into town and they oh, wanted to go to sir funny and clear as day it was of when course tom and that notice. girl t were walking oh. in and they were like outside Holy. were you just like oh my god no we had she... texted because oh. they watched it at like five o'clock oh yeah and she was like don't miss our cameo tonight and i was like <laughs> what are you talking about hilarious um, obviously had to watch it yep it was so funny wow we're all just making it behind the scenes this, no, this season we're all gonna be we're almost nominated. main cast <laughs> <laughs> um then i feel like nothing really happened there but ariana started talking to sandoval's new girlfriend oh yes 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 which was or not girlfriend the girl like he they brought on a date. i thought it was sweet where she's like you're the prize not yeah. him oh. i i was like this kind of like funny to me yeah no i thought it was like right on point for yeah. ariana and like the situation and but i feel like this girl already knows what the fuck happened of course like, <laughs> also like you like she's 25 grow up and these guys 40. are gross and he's 40 yeah um katie confronts sheena about the kiss right and um sheena kind of like to katie's face like denied it happened in the way that like tom yeah. said it happened mm-hmm was like it's not a make out like he kissed me he just like me. pulled me and like kissed me and i was like what are you doing yeah but then in sheena's confessional she was like i wasn't gonna tell her yeah so obviously she didn't want to tell and her like, because it was oh, a situation okay. I know. <laughs> um so that kind of sucks i'm actually kind of laughing because i watched it last night with a group of people and one person there had never seen it before and he was oh. probably like what the fuck <laughs> Is yeah, this group people of people are not because he was like when they're flashing back to 2013 he's like oh my god he's like how long have these people been i on TV? know well the interesting thing about that is when katie said that when um schwartz went to vegas one time without her sheena was there mm. and that's when he was accused of cheating on her because he made out with someone yeah. and then she confronted him and he was like i did make out with someone yes and so katie was like was it her yeah was it sheena yeah I mean, it would just suck. I know it was like forever ago, but like still it would suck to know that. Of course. Be like, what if they were still married and this came out? Like it would be a whole nother story. Yeah. Be like, are you fucking kidding me? I know. It would obviously be way worse. And like those two people lying to you yeah. for a decade. Yeah. That would feel shitty. Um. Also, oof. Katie watching the confessional footage. Like I always think about like the cast watching oh. the episodes back because oh. there's so much that they don't know happened. No, I know. I'm I was like, like, you know, they're going to see this, right? Yeah. Like obviously they know. Oh, like, oh, that I made me like cringe. Yeah. I'm like, this is so tough because it was so long ago, but it's still something that like you lied about for so long. Lied? Or you mean like by omission? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like okay. you just didn't tell her. Yeah. Because you didn't want her yeah because she was literally like i didn't want to tell her i don't want to and i was like i get not wanting to but like i feel like you should have a point. 
Of course. But also maybe she was, well, no, it was a big deal to her. When she asks you to be a bridesmaid in her wedding, you should have probably maybe been like, hey, by the way, I I kissed your husband. I was watching the after show and Katie was like, I think Ariana was like, if you had found this out before your wedding, would that have changed things? And she was like, 100%. She said, before it's just like some random girl I didn't know, so I could kind of get over it. But like, now it was like someone I knew. Yeah. Like who's to say what you wouldn't do. Yeah. But this is why they should have never gotten married in I the know. first place. Because he was a loser who cheated on her. But I'll save With that for another Sheena. day. With <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Then they did another like something about her thing. Oh, yeah. Lala. She's like, we did this last year. I mean, I thought that too, honestly. I, know. I was like, but I'm like, just like support your friends. No, I understand. They've had a long, a long time. I understand, time but time. imagine if one of our friends are like, we're doing it again. You'd be like, really? No, uh, no, a hundred percent. You'd be like, we did this already. I've already had these. It was pretty funny. They just do it every season. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, then also Lala like sat down and was like, Ariana, I was at your house today. I okay. The- I was wondering when she was going to confess this because I was like, I know. Uh, well, I was like, why is it okay for Lala to hang out with him, but not Sheena? Like, what's, why is, but of course it hadn't been brought up yet. So I had to just wait I it know, out. But, but, and just like. <laughs> she said it very casually. Yeah, the way she says it, I'm just I was like. at like your house today. Huh? And she's like, what? Yeah. Um, And then I think, I think this is where Ariana is going to start to show her like. Like anger. Madness. Because it just keeps happening yeah and i cannot wait for the next episode because i feel like she's finally gonna have her freak out oh i'm trying to remember the preview okay and um i think she kind of did here i think she kind of was like what the fuck are you doing without doing that directly Mm -hmm. and so she was just like okay well uh, reason i wasn't there is because tom's a fucking idiot she always has like a reason too it's so funny yeah yeah oh terrible Um, and I think it was also her way of being like, he's not a good guy. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, and that was really fucked up that he did that. I agree. He basically, they have a dog. And rather than like care for his dog, he just put her in Ariana's room and shut the door. Yeah. And the dog got into leftover food and ate skewers. <sighs> Which is like probably one of the worst things a dog yeah. could eat. Paris ate besides a skewer like, and I had to bring her to the yeah, fucking vet. I was thinking that. Uh, um and it it probably ate multiple yeah it's that's just like not something you do yeah i mean i'm just gonna play devil's advocate here sure just because this has happened to me multiple times i i wonder if he acts if he had to he had to go into ariana's room for something maybe he didn't know the dog went in there and they shut the door because i do that with my cats all the fucking time like no one will go into the office or something and then shut the door and go down and like 20 minutes later i'll hear one of my cats meowing and i'm like oh they're trapped that could, that might, maybe would have happened. I don't want to say he like locked him in. Cause like, we don't you know really what know. I have to say to that. What? I don't the care. Devil, the devil doesn't need any more advocates. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just showing another side. No, I don't. Um, then... I think the devil needs more advocates. <laughs> <laughs> and she should be $6,000. Like, huh? She should be oh, $6,000. No, I'd be like, you can pay me for this. Pay, yeah. Pay up. But I feel like she didn't because he's alleging she owes him a ton of money. Yeah. Um, and then the big tea of the night was that Brock spills this secret about Katie and Max's revenge bang. Which was crazy. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Sheena. Sheena was so funny. Like she was so mad, but it felt like she was acting a little bit. She, I know I saw that was pure Uh, rage. She hated him in the moment. I saw a really interesting theory. So this is just a theory. It was on Reddit, of course, like Vanderpump Reddit. And they're like, I feel like Sheena and Brock may have like really crazy problems because for this to be slipping through the cracks and she's so consistent with her husband's or boyfriend, whoever's on the show and like she's with at the time, perfection, like no fighting really. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I, or am I wrong? I feel like with Brock, with every guy, it's like, no, he's perfect. Like there's things, yeah, but like but he's perfect. Think... I'm just reading it, saying a theory. Yeah. I, saw. I don't know if I believe it, but I it was just, that. it was saying like, they've shown a lot more of them, like actually like bickering and having arguments, or it could be, they're just so fucking secure in their marriage totally. that they, they bicker and argue openly. They don't really care. And then they're fine. I do. It does seem like they're going through something. I know. I agree. For sure. I think so too. Um, I'm still waiting for the episode when she's like, I just don't know if we'll be together forever. Yeah, I need to know what that is. It's probably is. wildly out of context. Probably like, yeah, no. if you did this, I couldn't see us being together forever. <laughs> you know, yeah. and then it was just cut. No, totally. So. Um, she was pissed at him. And I get it because she probably was just like gossiping, yeah. hoping that it would stay between the of two course. of them. 
But Brock was like, we all make good TV, love. <laughs> Lock and load. Um, it didn't really seem like Schwartz was that upset. It, it, well, I think it did upset him. I think it did upset him, but I don't think that he was like pissed off. No, but the preview for next week. He, did you see the preview for next week? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I must have not missed that. I think I was like on, but I wasn't really. Oh, watching. it was just him um, like confronting her about it more a little bit or just being oh. like, I can't really remember now, but it was like him being like, wait, so. And she was like, I don't want to talk about it. Like all embarrassed. Cause like his best friend, I guess. Yeah. Which is so know. weird. I didn't know that. I didn't either. I think he's just not on the show. So they just don't show well, it. Well, no, that, that's what I call karma. <laughs> Karma's that's a what bitch. I call a karma. Fuck. I should have known better. Maybe you shouldn't have made out with Raquel when your <laughs> ex-wife asked you not to hook up with anyone in the friend group. Yeah. Which apparently you've already done multiple times behind her back. True. <laughs> oh my God. You're so right. I know when they were like, how come he can't middle meddle with the group, but you can? It was like, it's so different. Like it 100%. was a different time of their separation of, it was fresh. I feel like he, she's and never he done anything. already did it. She's really not, not done anything to him. Yeah. Like, Everyone being like, she's a hypocrite. And I'm like, not really. He just did that. So she was like, well, I'm going to fucking do yeah, it too. Yeah. I didn't see her as a hypocrite. No. I don't people think. People were saying that. I though. mean, I was like, okay, if she set a boundary and then she also did it. Like doing yeah, both doesn't make it better. Like, yeah, of course. That's my other side of it. I was like, yeah, but like, does it even matter at this point? Like Schwartz is literally, it's, they're in a different world now. Like, and I think the whole reason she set that boundary was because she still wanted to have a good relationship with Schwartz. I think she was like, I want, I can be your friend, but like, these are my boundaries within yeah. and then that he, friendship. He could not hold that up. So it's like, yeah, okay, so well, she's like, point? exactly. Mm-hmm. So I get it. I don't really care. She does seem super embarrassed though. And I'm like really curious. I know. Why. Well, everyone's reaction was like, Max. Mama. No, I know. I was like, oh my God. I felt like hot in the face when she was getting grilled about it. everyone. And Ariana even was like, yeah, Max. And everyone was like, what's going on? <laughs> I know. She's going to be like, I have 35 people's location or 55 50, people's 56. location. 56. Oh yeah, 56. That's crazy. <laughs> I was watching the after show and um, she was saying that she still has people on there that she's like literally hasn't spoken to in years. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> um, I wish I had that many people's locations. <laughs> you, Katie was talking about it. You relate to her. What? She was like, that's, I don't share my location with anyone. That's so inappropriate. I did like the point oh, she made. I don't think where, it's inappropriate. I'm just like. Well, just in like terms, she was like, I didn't give consent to share my location with Sheena. So that feels very um, invasive to me that she was like tracking somebody Uh, else who just so happened to be at my place. What an interesting thing. I thought so too. What's the law here? (laughs) I don't know. But she was like, it just feels like weird to me because like I didn't consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then she's like going around telling people. It's just like the tragedies of having a phone now. It's like sometimes you'll just find shit out that I know. You know? Also, like, <laughs> if it were me and I had all these people's locations, like, I don't think that, like, they saw them leave together. Obviously, Sheena was oh. like, "I'm gonna." Yeah, check. no, she was. She was calming it down to make it seem like it was like a. She was like, si- "Oh, I was just checking in to make sure you." And then I like, looked at it again, and then no, again. <laughs> just say what, say what you were doing. Like, I'm sorry, I why were you looking at more. Max's location? Yeah. After he to left. To make sure he got home. He's no, a man. No. Like, he's fine. Like, yeah. you were looking because you were like, maybe they went home together. And I respect that. Yeah. Or even production was like, they went home together. Totally. And then she was probably like, oh my God, I need Let to look ch- at yeah. Max's location because I have it for some no reason. Which is like, fine and funny. I want her to read off everyone's location she has. I know. Not mine. <laughs> Does she have Sandoval's? Because that would be interesting. Dude. Apparently he turns it off though. Cause I remember them talking about it or something happened where oh, that's Ariana Katie- had it and stuff. And of course. Oh yeah. Then- that's what Katie said. She was like, I will share like for however much time I need, but yeah. like never indefinitely. Yeah. I don't Carly know. I wish I was like really willy nilly with it, but I'm just feel weird about it. So I'm not like doing anything. I'm just like, you know, I don't, I actually don't. I know. I wish you did. Well, Katie gets it. She's just keeping secrets. I can talk to her about it later this week. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny though, because I feel like Katie keeping doesn't want to share it because she's like doing her own like fun girl thing right now. But like, you're just at home knitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's crochet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, I'm having my private time and like being a nasty little girl. Well, maybe I am too. You don't know me at all. Well, then that would be deeply <laughs> concerning. No, that's like what's in my brain. I'm like, what is she doing that she won't share it with me? How is it that crazy? It's just like, I just don't want no, to be like, oh, she's here. That crazy. Okay. I guess I just don't understand 
what the big deal is. I'm just like, mm. I feel like I had on for a while, like years ago. And then yeah. I was like, I don't really, I'm not doing anything. I'm secret, literally crocheting. Secret girl. <laughs> okay. Then we have the Valley. Oh, sure. You didn't watch it? <laughs> no, I watched it, but I just didn't really think this episode was anything. I thought it was pretty good. Oh. Um, because we started seeing me. some, what'd you say? It felt very fake to me. Really? The end scene. Oh, what? I was living for Oh that. my God. I was like, this feels the so Brit and Kristen? acty. Yes. No, to me, they're the realist, even um, aside from Vanderpump. Felt very acty to me. And the guy was like five minutes later and he's like, I never said that or something. I was like, this feels like acting. Oh no. I ate that shit up. I thought uh. it was great. I think Jax is a maniacal person i mean he's perfect reality tv um he literally like got lunch with Kristen, is having all of these chats with her to be like i care about you so much i just want to make sure that like you are making the best decisions for you i don't want to see you get hurt but then behind her back is like i need all of her ex-boyfriends to come together to talk <laughs> to this man to let him know yeah. that she's a psychopath yeah um need need her to watch this back immediately <laughs> like i need to know her thoughts like what an awful human wait i have a question that's kind of random are yeah. they not doing watch what happens anymore what do you mean for vanderpump because now it's vanderpump but then the valley and then it's was it was it on after that uh, i probably. think below deck came on after that oh i'll have to see yeah I'm just well wondering. sometimes he takes breaks but i wouldn't i don't know um and then on top of that, like, it's so sad to me how Brittany, like, still stands by Jax in any of the decisions. Yeah, he makes. I know. Especially, like, seeing these women, like, cry. Well, the one woman cry. Uh, I know. Which, like, still, I don't know. But, but still. Oh, yeah. But Jax invited Kristen's ex boyfriend, who oh. she was in, like, a toxic relationship with, to Guys Night with her current boyfriend <laughs> after everyone was like, don't do that. The current boyfriend did not want it. And Brittany is then telling Kristen at the girls' night. And he's like, he did it with pure intentions. <laughs> and is just like defending this decision that yeah. everyone is like, no, this is fucked up. Even her best friend, the guy with the fake hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The wig. He was like, no, that's fucked up. Yeah. And she was like, I don't understand why you're getting so mad about this. Well, she was like, you're stirring stuff up or you're stirring shit up. She's like, how am I stirring? It's like, Kristen is literally just reacting. Oh, yeah. We're going to say it was real for this. And she's allowed to be upset. That would piss me off yeah. too. If anything, Jax is stirring things up. Yeah, on purpose. Yeah. And like he has said that. He was like, no, I need everyone to like know the real Kristen, which is <laughs> it's like so crazy. Yeah. And like talking about like all the guys she's like, he's in love with her. Well, I think she made a really good point when she was like, when Jax is acting like a dad or whatever to me, it's just him showing off like his like he has a house he has a son and he has a wife totally like you don't have your life he's just together. bragging about his own life to be like well, you shouldn't be doing this i know and it's so he's funny he's just jealous because he can't be doing that. yeah and she was like it's just jack's the reality is jack's found a saint who will put up with his bullshit yes yeah when she said that i was like truth yeah. tea mm -hmm. um this was the first episode where i got a little freaked out by her boyfriend luke why um just the way he got mad oh freaked me out oh like when she was talking about the nipple thing yes it was a little cringe <laughs> i was like you're acting like a uh, it, a bunch of wall n it like the way his f like it freaked me out yeah it was like she's his property interesting i didn't even like catch it um but like I don't think it's bad. Like, why everyone is making a big deal? Like, why would we hang out with him? Like, we're not friends with him. When she's just like, please just, like, include him oh, in yeah. the group. Like, if, he, if she really wants to have a baby with this guy, yeah. like, I don't, I mean, it's Jax and it's a show, so whatever, but yeah. And, like, like, when Brittany said that thing, she was like, well, why should he be there when they're all actually friends with Alex? Oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, you're being a bitch. Yeah. It's like, that's not a reason to, like, make them- Exclude- her current boyfriend yeah. who like you guys are all complaining you don't know and then she's trying to get you to know him and then you're being assholes <laughs> it's just like stupid i know it's so dumb compared to like what's going on on vanderpump it's just like so silly i enjoyed it though i like no i like the show i thought this episode was a lot slower i'll keep watching it i like it but it felt i don't know why it felt very fake the i'm excited fight for the, the fight next week me too i um, need next week to come faster i feel like it will because it's already like basically thursday so i know <laughs> Hopefully this podcast will come out today. I don't really know <laughs> what's going on with uploading, but 
I, I, I swear to God, it's a damn camera. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry. But that's really all that happened on that episode. That was like notable. To yeah. Me. Yeah. I feel all like I'm still getting confused by everybody's. Jesse, everybody. I think his name is the one who's like going to get divorced. Yes. He is such a fucking asshole. Yeah. Also, the guy, I don't know his name. The one who came to Guy's Night. Well, maybe they all did. The one who like came up to the table was like, am I interrupting anything? He looks like Taylor Lautner's dad or something. He's the one, I believe. Actually, I have no fucking idea. I don't, I don't know these people yet, but he just cringes me out. He just acts like such a dad. I don't know. He's like, I think he's a little, I don't know. I can't explain him. He looks like Taylor Lautner to me. Well, that probably doesn't help at all because he probably doesn't. Yeah. Looks like he's his weird like cousin. <laughs> What is his like dynamic he, on the show? I don't even know. He's just very like, like, like dad who's energy. Who's his wife? I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know people yet. It takes me so long. Okay. He's not, he's a little bit darker complex. <laughs> is he the one with the new babies? I don't know. What's I'm saying? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. It's possible. <laughs> but he's just very dad energy like he came up to the table and was like i interrupted anything like his hands well, open it's just dads. like no i know but it's just like oh my god this is such a jump from vanderpump like i need a yeah a minute to like digest we're getting into the thick of it next yeah. week oh I yeah know it. oh yeah um but yeah jackson Brittany not looking good this episode <laughs> or ever <laughs> yeah well the first episode i was like oh Brittany, she's so sweet but then this episode i was like no you are just an apologist for your husband how yeah. did i forget this yeah and it is a big ick it is and it's like Oh, these people haven't changed at all. It's funny because oh, it I hasn't that really been after that the first long. Episode. <laughs> I mean, it has. What? I knew that after the first episode. No, of course, but it's just like. Yeah. But Brittany, I'm like, oh God. Yeah. Well, we'll love to see how this all plays out for them. Me too. How's the iPad working for this episode? You like it? Good. I can't wait to read my Am I the Asshole. Oh my God. Okay. Do you want to read yours first? Um, I guess. It's right there. Am I the <laughs> Asshole first? Look at how big it is. Oh, I thought we did the same one. Wait. Nope, we're doing different ones, but they're the same Ready? vibe. <laughs> and I screenshotted this like a week or two okay. ago. Am I the asshole for skipping my best friend's surprise wedding? My best friend oh. Emma and I have known each other since high school. We've been through everything together from breakups to job losses. So when she told me she was planning a special event and needed me there, I didn't hesitate to say yes, despite not knowing the details. This is so nice. What, just like saying yes? No, oh, oh. reading it on this. Good. Like I feel like you changing. could even turn it and it'll be bigger. Um, Did something happen? Hold on, I locked it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. No, I can't really. Doesn't really fit. Okay, there we go. I can't like scroll. It okay, goes I just away. know how you were doing it. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. I'm being vulnerable. I know you are. We're so vulnerable. Um, Emma has always been unconventional and loves surprises. She hinted that this event was going to be life-changing and a testament to love. Given her flair for the dramatic, I assumed it might be an elaborate proposal from her longtime partner, Jake. The event was scheduled at a remote, picturesque location about four hours from where I live. The week of the event, my life turned upside down. My dog, who's been my companion for over 10 years, fell critically ill. Oh. It was touch and go, and leaving him wasn't an option for me. I was devastated, torn between my responsibility to my pet and my commitment to my best friend. I called Emma two days before the event, explaining my situation and how I couldn't make it. She was incredibly understanding at the time, or so it seemed. I thought everything was fine until the next day, when mutual friends started posting pictures of the event. It was Emma's wedding, a surprise wedding. I was shocked and heartbroken. I would have loved to witness one of the most important days of her life, but the situation with my dog was something I couldn't ignore. Emma, however, didn't see it that way. After the wedding, she sent me a long message explaining her disappointment and hurt. She felt that I had chosen my pet over our friendship and that missing her wedding was unforgivable. But she didn't know, right? No. Okay. Since then, Emma has been distant. Mutual friends are divided. Some understand my predicament, while others believe I should have made every effort to attend, regardless of the circumstances. I'm left wondering, am I the asshole for choosing to stay with my critically ill pet over attending my best No, there's so many husband. moving parts here. You're fine. The only thing, like, like you called her 
to be like, hey, this is what's happening right now. She had the opportunity to let you to know. spoil the surprise and be like, I'm actually getting married. So just in case you want to go <laughs> exactly yeah. like you still left her in the dark because you're so obsessed with surprises like this that is fully your issue yeah and the fact that like anyone is siding with her when it is a fully a surprise thing that like who the fuck knew what was gonna happen yeah. is insane i'm trying to, to like if it were oh my god this fucking camera <laughs> sorry everybody <laughs> we just if you're just listening yapping. never mind what I said, we just keep yapping. I know, we're yapping on so and on much. And on. Well, it, we, already, we keep doing these two hour episodes, I which I love and people love. I it's know. just a nightmare for me to upload, I know. which sucks. But I think with the other camera, it'll be fine because it'll sync it really fast. Totally. And it'll be fine. Um, if it were me and I was doing that, I would never, I would literally expect people not to come because I don't know what it is. Yes. You know what I mean? And then I'd be like, of course I'm not mad. Yeah. I don't know. There's so many moving parts. Also, your dog was critically like if I don't know. Like, what if Paris was like could die right now, like in the hospital, and like someone yeah, and was getting like, married? Oh, I'm doing a surprise trip to Palm Springs. Yeah, you'd be like, I'm obviously not going. Yeah, but what if I was like, I'm getting married. I know. Then I'd be like, okay, well, I, I have to bring the dog. <laughs> your dead dying. Or dog. I would like. Well, I think it depends. But what if the dog had to stay in the like? That's the thing. It's like I don't know if I could leave my animal. If Paris I'm being had honest. to stay in the hospital. Like if she was like in critical care. Oh, I would not be coming. Of course. So it's like, yeah, you chose your pet over. Yeah, this is but your like, pet's that's life. that's like your child. Yes. I mean, she's had this for, I've had Paris for four years. Yeah, this dog's She's 10, had her for over 10 years. Like, which is insane. No, sorry. I'm staying with my animal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll watch, knew, your, I'll watch your wedding on video. <laughs> if I knew that my animal was going to be okay. Yeah, of she course. She was just so not different. doing well. Then I would go. It's different, yeah. I would maybe be like, TJ, you stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it was that serious. But if like they were like, he, she's gonna make a full recovery. She's just not doing well right now. <laughs> yeah. I would be like, okay, you stay, I'll go. Yeah. Um, but this is like, even if she knew it was a wedding, she could have still chosen to stay because oh, her dog 100%. was in critical care or whatever. A hundred percent. Sorry, I just grabbed your foot. <laughs> no, it felt nice. <laughs> you need to massage it? Or that is really fucked up and now like, she, she's not talking to her. It's, I feel like it's either, yeah, I think this friend needs to get the fuck over it. And maybe she's just feeling a lot of emotions because she just got married and she's like, wait, I wish my friend was there. And then she, her, she's of like, course. the wrong emotions are coming out, you and know? like, who knows the situation with the animal? Yeah. Like maybe the friend was like- It was just getting a nail clipping. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yeah, you. I can't go to her She felt critically ill. <laughs> <laughs> her claws. Like Emma, one of Emma's friends always says she has, she's had life, sh she's having life altering surgery when she gets like really basic, like Botox. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm having life altering surgery. That's funny. Yeah. She's reminded me of that. Okay. Well, this is funny because this is like very similar in a Love way. Um, am I the asshole refusing to attend my best friend's destination wedding after being demoted from maid of honor? Oh. So, my 28 female best friend, Jenny, 29 female, is getting married in a beautiful, very expensive location overseas. We've been best friends, no, sorry, we've been friends since high school. And when she got engaged last year, she immediately asked me to be her maid of honor. I was thrilled and started helping with the planning from dress shopping to tasting cakes. However, about two months ago, Jenny informed me that she had decided to make her sister the maid of honor instead, but still wanted to be. Me, me to be a bridesmaid. She explained her family was putting pressure on her since it's a family tradition. I was hurt, but tried to be understanding. Here's where it gets complicated. Jenny's wedding is incredibly expensive to attend. Between flights, accommodations, and other expenses, we're talking about a significant amount of money. After being demoted, I started reevaluating re oh. whether I could justify the cost, especially since I've had some financial setbacks recently, unexpected car, repart, car repairs, medical bills, etc. I decided that I couldn't afford it, and I told Jenny, she was upset and accused me of backing out because I was no longer the maid of honor. She said I was letting my pride get in the way of our friendship. And then if I really cared, I'd find a way to make it work financially. I feel terrible. I want to be there for her, but the financial strain is too much for me, especially now that my role, especially now that my role in the wedding and my involvement in the planning has changed. Am I the asshole for choosing not to go? Okay, I fully understand like the money aspect, but she's really weighing heavily on the fact that she got demoted yeah. as reasoning why she's not going. Well, she's like, I got demoted, so I don't need to be there. Yeah, but like- No, I'm saying, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But it's like, okay, but you're still a bride. Like if I was the bride, I'd be like, she's not coming because I demoted her. Yeah. Like uh, she can afford it, clearly like she was gonna come. I fully get. 
Me too. And honestly, I'd be like, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to be made of honor. And like, Hallelujah. she openly communicated with you being like, my family's being so annoying and like, they're putting all this pressure on me. So like, I'm just going to have to do this to like, make them happy. Yeah. And like, you're still a bridesmaid. And, like, you've still been friends. You're no since, less important. Since high school and you're 30 almost. Yeah. Like, that's a long fucking time. <laughs> like, that's a really long friendship and... I get, I mean, I honestly understand the money totally. Like yeah. destination weddings are the probably the hardest thing to fucking attend when you're not well off. Yeah. And like just going to a wedding even. Like even, even, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> just a regular wedding. <laughs> Literally going to any wedding that is not like an hour or two drive from yeah. you. It's expensive. It's so expensive. And you're, the plane door might fall off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if uh, you go, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's crazy out there. I just want to say I'm glad your plane door didn't fall off. And I'm also happy you didn't get punched in the face in New York City. I know. Oh, my God. That's like pretty crazy. You know, there's like a, an area of New York yeah. specifically like these girls are getting punched in the face and it's like terrifying. I Apparently this guy, the, the common thread is he'll say they'll be usually on their phone and he'll say something like, excuse me, or he'll say something like that or say, oh, I'm sorry. And then they'll look up and then he'll punch them. <laughs> it's like not funny, but it's just crazy. No, it's like so Who's this wild. man? Yeah. He's on the loose. He is. I wonder if he's punching right now. Probably. I hope not. We'll see a new one. On I hope TikTok he gets when punched. We're out of this. I know, literally. Um, but yeah, that that was a weird. Am I the asshole? Because I was like, mm, if I under like when you explain it, I understand her reasoning. Of it's like, uh, but I don't get it. But she's. I was still, still not saying getting it. like. Well, now since I got I'm demoted, demoted, like yeah. it's not as important. And, and it's I'm like, like what? So so <laughs> if this person was your friend since high school and you were just invited to the wedding you still wouldn't go i mean i guess a destination i get it but like of course again if i was a bride i'd be like oh you're literally not coming now because you're not a i'd be like this person's mad at me because yeah. i demoted them and she herself expressed that yeah. in this little blurb yeah so if this it's crazy people write this stuff because i'm like i mean if i was on reddit it, like if i was his best friend <laughs> i know that's getting married i'd be like that's literally her <laughs> like it's <Yeah>. so specific <laughs> i know crazy um uh, I don't know if she's like an asshole, but I think she might be. A it's hairy. Bit. It's hairy. Yeah. I don't think it's black and white, but it's definitely it's not yeah. looking good. Like when you were the maid of honor, you were going to go no matter what. But now no. you're like, oh, well, I'm just a bridesmaid now. I think now that I'm thinking about yeah. it, like it's not really worth it. And it's like, me. of course, when you're a bridesmaid, there's so many you give so many more responsibilities, but I don't really think of it like that. It's just like, I'm here for my friend for her big day. Totally. Also, it seems like your friend is a good communicator. Mm -hmm. And like, maybe you could talk to her about those other things and be like, I am definitely coming to the wedding, but like other things are going to be too expensive yeah. for me. So like, I'm just not going to be able to do that. Um, it seems like you're just kind of butthurt. A little salty. Yeah. <laughs> Which like, oh, get over it. That's so silly to me. No, I'd be like, oh, thank God I don't give a speech. <laughs> right? Yeah, so happy. I mean, she might still have to, but. <laughs> that's true. Maybe, yeah. Maybe she really wanted to give a speech. Maybe that's why she's mad. That's like a friendship ending. It is. Sad. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going now because I'm not a bridesmaid. Sorry. Yeah. And like, I wonder if the bride were like, oh, how can I help you like pay yeah, for this? Like, I really want to be there. Then what? Don't help me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> then what would you say? I don't know. What that if dog was us? also in critical care <laughs> what if these two stories combined oh, you couldn't get if you were getting married abroad and the dog was gonna get better but still sick i probably wouldn't go <gasps> i'll fine. be honest i i'd be too well, freaked out first of all i'm a people pleaser i would never have to have a wedding out of the country because yeah. i would be like no one will come and i yeah, feel but that's the point i feel so bad for but also like i feel bad whoever does yeah. come like please don't pay for this so i wouldn't do it anyway yeah so don't worry. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for listening slash watching. Going to try, really try to get this out Wednesday. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll come out Wednesday. Yeah. Um. Today. <laughs> literally today. Uh. Yeah. We have another podcast called Good Influences with Mike, Matt King and Mike Sheffer. Mike King and Matt Sheffer. Exactly. Did I say that? Yeah. Well, whatever. On now. every Tuesday, they come out. They're men. They're not important. <laughs> yeah, right. And we also do two bonus episodes a month on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash onlyfriends. And we'll have a new one next week. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next week, hopefully on Monday, Patreon. <laughs> I feel so bad for you guys. I love you guys. I'm here all of April. <laughs> Thank God. Although I do want to go to Stagecoach. You do? Yeah, just because I want to go to Palm Springs. Yeah. That'd be fun. We'll see what happens. We can do a podcast there. <laughs> Yeah. A live pod from the Airbnb. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Toodles. Bye.